experience sleepaway camp on Thursday morning. Today, we're taking you to Las Vegas to check out a new show that's taking the strip by storm. <laughs> oh All right, I must say, guys, do not worry. We yeah. kept it PG. This is not Girls Gone Wild in Vegas. <laughs> Magic Mike Live is produced. It was created by Channing Tatum. And on opening weekend, we were lucky enough to get a VIP behind-the-scenes access from the man himself. Did you say access? <laughs> Flipping. Spinning. Leaping. The men of Magic Mike Live do it all, including some not suitable for morning TV moves. This updated 21st century male review was based on the Magic Mike movies about a group of exotic dancers which made nearly $300 million at the box office. Girlfriend's Guy too. Fantastic fun. <laughs> Channing Tatum is the creative force behind the movies and now the live show. So we are our girlfriends and we're on yeah. a little adventure together. We're reunited. She's on the West Coast. I'm reunited on the East. And, and it feels so good. good. You have a good voice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is this show about and how close is this to the movies? I wouldn't say it's close to the movies. I would say that you will get everything and, and uh, things that you didn't even know you wanted. What do you hope it brings girlfriends? We've really worked hard on keeping it really light and fun. My name is a bit synonymous with stripping, for better or worse, like, which I've, like, very, very happy in, yeah. and sort of the way it's all shaked out, but I was starting to ask myself, like, why do I want to do this? I mean, look, I want to, like, empower women. I want to make something for women. <laughs> so Channing turned to these women to empower his project. They're all powerful. I love that it's three women who are sort of the vision behind, you know, what, you know, this show is. The, the message of female empowerment, though, how important is that to the audience and what they get out of this? I think that that's everything. We're hoping that when women come in this room, that they leave feeling empowered, um, excited about their lives. Women are really seeking connection and deep connection, you know, really being understood. And so the show has been created around that premise. So with these guys, what can we expect to see? They're talented, they have personality, they have charisma. Before the show started, we were able to meet the dancers and comedian Lindsay Haley, who serves as the show's master of ceremony. Lindsay? This was for my dad. <laughs> one's for my dad. Oh. I'm crying. You're ruining my fake eyelashes. <laughs> so how many of you had your moms here in the audience? Yes. <laughs> my mom and my grandma. And <laughs> what did they think? They loved it. Channing is not in the show, but during our behind-the-scenes tour... So this is where you're going to show us your dance moves. We cajoled him into showing off the moves that made him famous. Oh, come on. You can't conspire. What? This isn't fun. Okay, good. Karate. Karate. <laughs> <laughs> Drop mic. Then we Drop impressed mic. him with ours. Golfing. Golfing. Or tried to. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Natalie, Ooh. that Ooh. actually okay. is beautiful. All right, all right. I'm all right, what do you Bowling. 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 Oh. Come on. <laughs> what is that? I love this part. It's like, it's that's sorry, just, we, it's we, just we, getting I the knew, ball, I, right? I, I, yeah, she did, she it. bowls in a very I interesting way. <laughs> with Channing getting us in the spirit. Ladies, do we feel powerful? It was time to see Magic Mike live for ourselves. Even becoming part of the show. Let you for a second. Which left us inspired. Magic Mike live, baby, thank you. And yes, empowered. Give it up for Jenna and Natalie of the Today Show. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> what, wait, that's what? all no, we did. No, that's no, no, no. You need to did. clarify what was happening that moment. <laughs> Piano while they sang and Jenna was serenaded. That's all. <laughs> we, I will say I blushed a lot. I bet. I'm not, you know, a Pollyanna, but Pollyanna. I'm not a Pollyanna. Pollyanna. But I will say there was a lot of blushing going on. Right. Uh, oh, this is way, my impersonation of you guys with Channing Tatum. <laughs> Wait, why don't you spend a little time with him and yeah, see I how you act? I'd be like, Matt, uh, uh, uh. yeah. you want to talk? You want to say anything? All right, I'm gonna, I know this is very perilous, but oh in the piece you talk about 
or they talked about how they hope women will leave that feeling empowered. Oh, yes. Do you think if uh -oh. men oh, were no. to go to a female review yes. where the women became scantily clad that people would say we hope the men leave feeling this, empowered? Honestly, this Possibly. is a different point. I know this is a it's tough a fair room. Point. It's a fair but, but it is a different kind of show yes. because well, they have this female comedian who sort of narrates for the women and takes them on the and journey. And it's created by women. And it's they the don't get one. naked. No. I, look, All the way. The only reason Not I brought it up is Carson <laughs> called me and asked me <laughs> this <laughs> question. So, uh, I think you raise a fair point. Yes, you do. Okay. You are kind of like Debbie Downer, yes. though. I'm sorry. Yes. sorry. Thank Thank you. Yeah. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.